Until 50 years ago today, doctors couldn't cure cataracts and save the patient's sight. You either went blind when the lens in your eye went opaque, or you lost most of your vision when the lens was removed. A pilot in the Battle of Britain helped change that. His cockpit windscreen was shattered in an attack, sending shards of perspex into his eye. The doctor who treated him noticed the plastic didn't trigger an allergic reaction, nor was rejected by the body. That doctor, Harold Ridley, used perspex to make a new lens for cataract sufferers. The uh, disability associated with cataract, with some of the coming back, uh, was was recognized for 200 years before anybody jumped on it and said, I will get it right. And 200 years mankind had waited for this advance. Despite the wait and the near 100% perfect results of the operation, the scientific community condemned Ridley. What's routine now made him an outcast in the 1940s. Too many surgeons thought this is going backwards, we're putting a foreign body in the eye. But the beauty of the implanting is it remains totally inert. Only after 200 million people worldwide had their sight saved by Ridley's lens, are scientists truly recognizing his gift to mankind. For the inventor and surgeon, now 93, it's a bit late. I'd have been uh, in, the, in the history books long ago. As it is, nobody knows my name. But he's not bothered about fame nor fortune. He's a humble man who only wanted to help people see. Rob Smith, Sky News.